So it's been three weeks and we can have a look at the results from our uh, pineapple top growing experiment. Have a look at video one if you don't know what the experiment's about. But in a nutshell, we compared a dried top and fresh top um, in both the water growing method and uh, putting them straight in some potting soil. So the dried top in the water, a fresh top in the water, dried top in potting soil, and a fresh pineapple top in potting soil. Uh, we did the experiment just to see if it was worthwhile setting up the you know, the water growing method or if that was a waste of time. And we also wanted to have a look at if drying the tops beforehand was actually necessary. So I've got a fair idea based just off the water example because it's quite easy to see that. But let's go through and have a look at each of these samples. We'll start with the dried top in the water. So we've had good root growth, but I can already see that the fresh top in the water has longer roots. Now, this is a sample size of one, so we won't be reading too much into it. This is just to show you um, what I'm actually observing. So fresh top has longer roots, but fewer roots. The dry top has more roots, but they're shorter. The dry top was also a larger pineapple top, so perhaps did have more energy. I don't know. Read into that what you will. But I think it's pretty obvious that either one will grow just fine. Now we'll have a look at the tops in the potting soil. So we'll start with the dried top. I can feel already there's some roots down there. And now the uh, fresh top. Well, that is interesting. I actually expected the soil to have longer roots than the pineapple tops that I'd put in water. I was wrong, at least with our sample size of four. Um, both our tops in the soil have grown roots, so they would have been just fine. They'll grow into nice, happy, healthy pineapple plants, but they've actually grown less than the two tops that were in the water. Um, and surprisingly, the dried top has longer roots in this case than the fresh top. Now, that can all come down to a small sample size. It's too, too small a sample to draw any conclusions about that. But there is a very obvious difference between the uh, water-grown tops and the potting soil pineapple tops. What does this mean for you as a grower? Well, I think the advice I had given, which I thought I was correct about, which that it was a waste of time to grow your pineapple tops in water, well, that was wrong. Uh, if you want to grow them in water, give it a go. And definitely, if you've got kids or you know if you're very keen and very interested in watching the roots grow the water method lets you do that um, on the other hand if you uh, don't have the time or the space to dedicate to jars full of water potting soil works just fine but it is slower based off this experiment all four of these pineapples on now pot up in potting soil um, and give them another month or so before I put them out in the garden so conclusions Water method is indeed faster. Don't think we can say anything about the dried versus uh, fresh, which perhaps means don't bother drying them. Um, but whatever method you use, they'll grow just fine. Thanks for watching.